am alive. Okay, biface number two, Texas Flint, big bopper. There we go. Start by alternately flaking around the edge, make some platforms. anything at this stage. It could easily become a discoidal core or a valvoir core. It's quite thick and just bifacially worked. Blows very close to the edge just to try and not to waste any of the width of the piece. So the platforms are almost all crushed and very small. phase one anyway so all the way around that side so that's the piece now but by facially all the way around now we're going to start thinning it so that to get our edge lifted up a little bit so that we have close to the mass that we're going to take off. Let's do that by taking off a few plates on that side just to bring this plane view section a bit higher. I'm not going to do any extensive faceting or grinding or anything on these ones, I'll just try and bang it out as it is. Big thin flakes there. And curving all the way to the centre and past the centre. What we want. This one's made it almost to the other side. You can feel those on the leg too. <laughs> <laughs> that was actually overshot slightly on the other side there. Deepen that platform slightly, bring it up towards the top surface. Mm 
But before I do that, I mean, I'll just take a few off this side. Into that same surface and just finish doing that surface more or less. there at all, it's all nice and smooth. Now we can concentrate on this side, so to bring these edges up. We lose a bit of width in doing this. Flakes are coming in most of the opposite end. Opposite edge. Oops. Yeah. Little step termination there I have to deal with now. And I'll tackle that from the end row on the side. Just take a big flake off that'll hopefully knock away all of that step there. Just prepare that by bringing this edge up to the top surface. A bit of faceting. A nice strong platform and then wallop it off. And just clip that step termination, there's still a bit there. Now those platforms are good. I'll take off a series of flakes. It's a bit hinged. I'm not isolating platforms or grinding them or anything, which is what you would do for an ultra thin bite face. Treating this like a refined by face of Italian tradition or late Italian. Just needs a bit of a refinement. 
So I'm going to go back onto the other surface again now, back to the one that we finished to begin with. Get that edge up. Turn the edge again. a bit smaller now. Breaking up a great deal. Typical big thin blows is that the flakes tend to shatter almost every time. Shade the end there. Okay, I think this will be our final couple of thinning blows. Okay, now we can just tidy up the edge and get the Final shape that we want. Let's go for a sort of an ovate flat face, I think. shape about right, taking off any really large lumps that are left, like that one. The last one, and 
we'll say that's done. There's our bike mesh. There we go.